Hi, I'm Peter Kamström of Kamström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk to you about Search, SharePoint Search in Office 365. There are a lot of different places where you can configure that and use it. You can use it in here, in a document library, or in a list, like that. You see you have a search window there too, find an item. You also have this search box, search this site. And there are several options here configured by default in Office 365. So you have this site, everything, people, conversations, and this specific list. You also have web parts that can show search results, which is a really powerful way of using search. You can also configure it, of course, from site settings. And here's a whole section about search, and that's new in SharePoint 2013. In, in 2010, all the search settings were in central administration, or most of them actually. But here you can configure a lot of things in each site collection. Also, of course, you have search settings under the SharePoint Admin Center. If you go in there, SharePoint. Here's a whole section about search also, where you can configure a lot of different things. So these are the things I'm gonna show you in future demos. One of the first things I wanna show you though is this one manage authoritative pages because once you start adding data to your SharePoint you will find that the sorting of that data which items should be most important which ones should come first that's very very important and what happens when you create new site collections in your SharePoint 2013 is that they all end up here under most authoritative pages you see the IT and the sales and the shared one and also the content type hub is there and you might you probably don't want information from the content type hub in your search results so I'm going to demote that site and as you see this is a very very simple thing to do I'm going to put these on the second level just cut and paste those things in there and this will mean that these items will show up first in your search results or a little bit higher depending on how specific your search is of course but this is a very very simple way to give SharePoint a clue of what's important and what's not in your SharePoint tenancy so that's a quick overview of search and um, in the future demos I'll go through all of these in a lot of detail thank you for watching